Hello students, welcome to our today's class. In the today's class, we are going to learn about here what is solution pressure and osmotic pressure in electrochemistry. Generally, the solution pressure and osmotic pressure are these terms we use in solution lesson. But these terms we can also use in electrochemistry. Have you got it? So in the electrochemistry, where can we use these terms? What type of role are playing these terms? All these points we will focus in this today's class. Right? So now, first of all, these type of what solution pressure and osmotic pressure we can notice in electrochemical cells. Have you got it? First you take electrochemical cell. In that electrochemical cell we can use these terms. How sir and where sir. So first of all I want to explain to you about solution pressure. Have you got it? Solution pressure. Okay. So if you take solution pressure. So what is meant by solution pressure? First we have to learn. For example, you take metal rod, you take metal rod, so this metal rod, any metal rod, whenever it is contact with or whenever you dip into its ionic solution, whenever you dip into its ionic solution, there will be two types of pressures produced in that solution. Have you got it? Whenever anything, any metal you take, so any metal rod, whenever you suspend into its what ionic solution or salt solution, what will happen here? Here some pressure develop. Okay, in that pressures, the pressure is two types. One is solution pressure, another one is what osmotic pressure. First, I want to focus on the solution pressure. What is meant by solution pressure? Here you see, I have taken for example, familiar example I am taking here, you know very well about that. That is, just you take, you know very well about zinc rod you take here. Okay, so and it is dipped in what zinc sulfate solution. Okay, so you take like this. Okay, for, your, for understanding point of view. Okay, so you take zinc rod suspended into the what aqua solution of zinc sulfate. So here what is going on, you all know very well, this is not a new thing to you. Okay, so what will happen here? So neutral atoms present in the zinc rod, they convert into ions. They convert into what? Ions. Okay, they convert into ions. And these ions, whatever, this is nothing but oxidation, you all know very well. The loss of electrons. And these neutral atoms will be converted into ions. Those ions will enter into the what solution? They enter into the what solution? So here some pressure generated. So this type of moment, due to this moment, some pressure generated. That is considered as like a solution pressure. Have you got it? So here which pressure is generating? Here, solution pressure. What is meant by solution pressure? From the electrode, neutral atoms are converting into ions. Those ions are entering into its ionic solution. So that type of tendency is considered as like a solution pressure. Here, due to solution pressure, what type of activities are taking place? You know very well, first one here, Zn plus 2 because I have taken Zn no so Zn plus 2 concentration in the solution increases have you got it here it's a concentration increases in the solution second point you have to remember okay very very important point that is here electrons are entering into the way so into the metal rod automatically the metal rod is converting into what? Negatively charged. Converting into what? Negatively charged. 
Have you got it? Here, which pressure is dominating? Here, osmot. What is that? Solution pressure is dominating the osmotic pressure. So, what is osmotic pressure? I will tell you. Just you see. In this case, which is more dominating pressure? Solution pressure. What is meant by solution pressure? Solution pressure is nothing but a, the metal rod neutral atoms are converting into its ions and those ions are entering into solution. So due to that, some pressure rises. That pressure we consider it as like a solution pressure. Have you got it or not? Okay. So due to the solution pressure, the concentration of metal ion will be increased and negative charge on the metal rod increases have you got it or not so here in this case which pressure is more dominating here solution pressure have you got it now coming to this one here see this one you take now osmotic osmotic pressure you take very well opposite to this you know very well here this here also one example I want to take here that is here copper rod you take and here you take what copper sulfate solution aqueous copper sulfate solution you take so whenever you take aqueous copper sulfate solution and a copper rod okay right whenever you dip into this here one type of mechanism is taking place what is that one type of mechanism here you all know familiar that metal ions which are present in the solution metal ions which are present in the solution what takes electrons and it will become as like a what copper you know very well this is nothing but a reduction here you must remember one point what is that this Cu plus 2 Cu plus 2 which are present metal ions which are present in the solution they are coming out of the solution so due to while migrating from solution to out some pressure develop that pressure we call it as like a what here that is called osmotic pressure in this osmotic in this half cell you can notice osmotic pressure osmotic pressure is dominating in this what is going on here solution pressure because that zinc ions are coming out of the metal rod have you got it here you see what type of changes are taking place due to this osmotic pressure in the half cell? You see this one, point number one. What is that? Metal ion concentration decreases. Metal ion concentration decreases. And next one, positive charge. Positive charge on the what? Rod increases. Okay, I'll have to focus here. So rod charge is positive. Here, here rod charge is negative. Have you got it? So here, which which pressure is dominating here? Which pressure is dominating here? Osmotic pressure is dominating the what? Solution pressure. Here, one major point I want to tell you. Whenever this solution pressure is greater than the osmotic pressure, there oxidation takes place oxidation means what loss of electrons here simply wherever the the half cell which is having solution pressure is high there de-electronation takes place loss of electrons takes place have you got it? where coming to second here where osmotic pressure is more electronation takes place that means gain of electrons takes place have you got it or not here one more point you need to remember here what is that one more point that is charge separation is taking place what is the charge separation here see this is negative rod is becoming negative and solution is becoming positive have you got it charge separation here also charge separation is taking place what is that rod is becoming positive and solution is becoming what negative okay the potential difference between Okay, rod, metal rod and solution is nothing but a electrode potential. Have you got it? Electrode potential. The difference between, the potential difference between rod and what? Solution is nothing but a electrode potential. Have you got it? So here 
you must remember one more point i want to tell you here that is solution pressure is high then the rod metal rod here becoming negative have you got it becoming what negative so then that metal rod act as like a anode solution pressure is more then that metal rod is acting as like a anode have you got it now coming to here here coming to when osmotic pressure is more then that metal rod acts as like a cathode very very simple have you got it so you have to learn the concept like this in different manner have you got it i think you may get one doubt sir here both osmotic pressure and solution pressure you take like this here i will write osmotic pressure and here you see osmotic pressure and solution pressure if both are equal so what is the case sir so here you see if both are equal that electrode is nothing but a neutral electrode or nothing but a not neutral you can say it as like inert electrode okay inert electrode one example for inert electrode you people all know very well platinum have you got it or not so simply you can define like this here cathode means first you take anode means what is that where solution pressure is very high have you got it cathode means where osmotic pressure is very high have you got it now where both are equal both are equal that electrode is inert electrode have you got it or not so by using solution pressure and osmotic pressure we can define like this is it clear anything if you have